What is going on guys and welcome back to Roblox. It has been a while, but we are on a um, back on to he max health, damage and healing. So in this one, we've actually got a little GUI system that I can help you implement as well. And we're just gonna be looking over the code of what went wrong in terms of why it was bugging out. And I will get to that in a second. So if we take a look on over into the actual damaging, no, the giving health script, we um, we only want to um, add the health that's needed. We don't want to add the actual, um, in the other script it had this repeated plus this. However, we just want to add the health because that would just make life a lot easier and that's why it was jumping up so much. So now into the actual GUI. So if we look over in the starter GUI, we have a health GUI. And inside of this, we've got a local script and a health, a meter and health numbers. So that just all, all gives us this detailed description of actually how much health we have and what color it is and so forth. Because this meter is just a green meter over the top of this that fills up this health bar, if that makes sense. So let's just go out of this. And then to create this, you have to make a GUI. So make a GUI. Um, I'll just make another one just for um, just for example. So make another screen GUI. And then in this screen GUI, you wanna make a frame and then you wanna position it however you, however you want. So from this, um, I think I'm gonna. I might make this one um, XP because we might do XP in a in a later part of the series. Um, I am hoping to do this weekly now. Um, sorry for not being here as often as I wanted to be. So let's do this experience. Well, XP. I'll just put XP because shush. I might not know how to spell that. So what we want to do now is because we've got a frame here, we're gonna do this as maybe black because um, cause it's actually so if we go in here and we go to frame let's go and make this like a blacky um a blacky bluey color a very dark blacky blue now the reason why i'm doing this is because i'm going to make this xp so then what we want to do is from that we want to make another thing inside of this and then make a frame in the same frame same thing of frame and we want to make sure the position of the, so click on this frame the position is set to zero and we want to remove these two variables here which is the pixels and we want to make this one one um so actually i think i've done this wrong in terms of gain um, gaining xp oh i mean well actually we're going to make this one zero zero but this is complicated i'll just yeah and I'm going off on a tangent here, but this is just a um, like we'll go into the script first of how this actually works. So now that you've got your um, all of your health and your meter set up, um, just um, added so it's a hundred percent of of the um, so you have your frame set to a hundred percent of this. Um, this allows you to then go into the local script. So you want to go make a local script from here. And then in this, we want to use this code. So what we use and what this means is from the game, find the starter GUI, which is so starter GUI, um, then two dots, I forgot what it's called, um, set, set GUI core enabled. And then we're just doing enum.coregui.type.health, um, comma false. This just makes this script here, <coughs> pardon me, it just makes it, so the original GUI of health, um, so the original health bar that would display up here is disabled. So then we move on to the variables. What we have done is we've gone local player equals game dot players dot local player or game dot player players player added weight. So this just um, sets um, us to be able to use the player variable. Um, from um, from the next variable we've got um, character so um, finds the player character or the character that's been added uh, and then waits for it um, then lo um, then it's then I'm finding the humanoid so of the character so local character um, so which is player character or or 
which is also this. So it's just, but this is basically just making all of the code more simple for um, for us and me. You don't, and you can actually write it really long with the old script, which is like writing, say we'd write game dot players dot local player um, dot character dot um, dot um, dot wait for ch um, I mean wait for child humanoid so we could do it the longer route but this just makes it a lot easier by defining these variables so then you want to do a health bar wait for child health so if we look here wait for child health which is this and um, this is actually the thing that it's going to be waiting for so the child of um, health GUI is health and this is going to be waiting for the health and then this is um, GUI um, health GUI script parent so that means this is just the health GUI and then on run so this is the run service so game get service run service in make sure you put these um, speech speech marks please guys and then dot render step connect function this is instead of every time your um, health updated um because um, what would happen if we actually had this of where it ran off how much health we had now let's go back into here so if we went into so this is the add health and if we went straight to heal ourselves it would not go back up it would just stay there but you'd still get 150 back and um, 150 health so it's just and this is this means that it's updated every frame of the game as and it's um, connecting after every frame of the game um, ev this is basically after every frame of the game in um, game connect function so this function so then we're moving on to another variable which is health color so this this changes so if we watch inside of the um, inside of here and we go over to add health and then we damage ourselves and then we damage ourselves can you see how it's slowly changing into a different color and then when we heal ourselves back up it goes instantly back up to green and then heals all the way back up so this actually is a little bit more advanced and it's a lerp tween for using the lerp within the tween functions which is a little bit of an animation of a bar which is just what we're using gui you could use this in terms of making a block go bigger and bigger i'm pretty sure i've done it i might have done a video on this i'm not sure um however so um color three which we have um three different digits of the um of the scale so this just allows you to pick red when it so we want to go to red and then this is what it starts as so um this is it in that's in the most simple way i can put it but the, um, just make sure you um, you write this code down of local health color equals color three from rgb so the rgb scale which is remember 200 and oh, that was close i don't know i almost broke my code so 255 this could be 255 and this could be 255 these are the, pr the primary colors um sorry for my discord going off there um lerp color three from rgb Um, this this is setting the other one so this is lerp so um lerp two um this um this color so um, oh no well lerp from this color so this and um, this is the color that it'll end up at maximum this is the color that it starts as and it slowly moves into it does that make sense so then we've got humanoid health um divided by humanoid max health so that's just doing the math for us of how much health we've actually got remaining to be able to put that onto the bar then we've got local health change equals humanoid health slash humanoid max health so this again is actually tracking how much is changed inside of here we could have prob um, probably just i don't know why i put it twice but just um i think I'm pr no way oh no this is tracking i could have actually made this up there and then put change health here so if we if we move that up to there i could use change health here um so that would just be more simple and then health gui health gui dot health me um, dot health dot meter dot um, i mean what is this called now colon so a colon tween size and then udim2 dot new health change 
comma zero comma one comma zero and then in comma linear comma one so this is just giving you the tween animation um if you um i'll put the api and some other videos that i found helpful in this um helping me figure this out um in the comments if you also want to check them out and then we've got health gy dot health um, meter dot meter i mean well health health dot health dot meter dot background color equals health color so that is using this this is the lerp function that um actually allows it to go to um from green to red and then we've got it does a little this is the final part of the gui which um it'll stop being as complicated now which is health bar dot health numbers dot text equals math so this does a math function and then it just basically converts the text on here which is 150 at the minute and then um it converts it to whatever your max health is or whatever how much damage you've taken so for example like you see here you've got th um, 36 30 well around 40 health and then if we heal up it goes straight up to 150 because that's just doing some calculations for us so if we go back to the script now the um, like I said, the only the only issue of adding health in the last script was hit dot parent dot humanoid dot health should own um, well wrong one that this is hit <laughs> um, so this one so the health add hit dot parent dot humanoid dot max health could should only plus equals health add so how much however much health you want to add because if we were to say add this. Um, well, I don't. I think it might even break it now. I think that's what we're breaking it. Um, so if we if we added that though, it would also add. So it would find our health, so a hundred plus fifty, and then it would add. Um, so it would end up with two hundred and fifty, and then the next one would be like three hundred and three hundred or seven hundred or something like that. So that's just a quick fix to the code that we were um, that is on the max health and damage and a little bit of a gui system that you can start to get on your game um, i'll delete the the test thing the xp thing that i'll work on in the next video but again this is the end result this is what you're looking for and i hope you guys have enjoyed peace out